There you are. Look at Billy. How are you? You look like a fucking pie. I get my stupid headphones to work here. Some that'll work. Let me see if these ones will work. Hold they, on a second. No, they work good. My headphones aren't working for me, though. Oh, okay. It's about me, Nick. It's not about <laughs> you here. Here we go. My favorite position is... Uh, doggy style. He's so nasty. I, no, I, can't, I just can't deal with the intimacy, you know? I don't know who I am as a person yet, and when somebody looks at me during that time, I just, I feel like it's, it's I'm exposing too much. I was talking about your position on the basketball court. I'm just going to tell you how I discovered you. I, you know, I, I do all my whole career to you. <laughs> yeah. I was, no, 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 I was no. struggling until no, 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 Bobby Lee no, discovered no, me. No, 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 not discover you in terms of like, you d did it on your own, obviously, but no, in terms of my, my awareness of you. Oh. Can I tell you that story? Oh, no, I, I remember it was a big day in my career. <laughs> Bobby <laughs> Lee is finally aware of me. <laughs> Am I on Bobby <laughs> Lee's radar? See, this is what he's going to This do. is when things start to happen. <laughs> See, is, I'm not going to allow this to happen. Reversal. I'm not, yeah, I'm not going to allow this to happen. Reversal. Yeah, yeah. I'm just going to plug away. You know what I mean? Cool. Listen, you can talk to him all you want. <laughs> I, I can hear it. <laughs> Did you see my Adam Sandler interview? Kevin Nealon. Dude, people told me that you fanned out so bad. This is how much I love you. This is how much I love Burt Kreitzer. When you, when you were like this, hang on a second. Hang on, Adam, hang on a second. I have a story. I have a story I want to tell. If you could have a superpower, what would it be? Oh, that's a good one. You know what it would be? When I'm, when I'm second in line to make a left and the person doesn't pull up to get out in the intersection and make sure I make it, my superpower would be that I could mentally move them out into the intersection. And if they gave me the finger, I would slowly slide them into oncoming traffic. I, would, I wouldn't make them hit because that's an innocent person over there. It's but not I, a superpower. I, you you I a villain, man. I would scare them. I would you're scare the first them. villain I had on my show. Everybody else's yeah. superpower is like uh, Marvel characters. Your shit is like a villain. They're lying to you. They're, they're, everybody's pretending that they care. They don't. If you really listen to people, what they care about is what affects them. True. Nobody gives a shit about the eight-year-old who made this jacket. Do I? Do I write him and say thank you for sewing <laughs> this together? No. You know, there was an internet porn. I got to have a childhood. Can you imagine if that shit was around when I was... No. Oh, my God. No. I can't... Like these kids nowadays, it's like they're eight years old and the brain damage they have, it's like they've been on the vice squad for like 40 <laughs> years. <laughs> You're not glad, but like the two interviews are H3H3 and Theo Vaughn, where everyone's like, did you see that interview? And by the way, knowing you, I don't see anything wrong with the interview. I had a great time on the Theo Vaughn thing. I don't know what the fuck happened with that. I don't know I either. Left that, I, we had a good time. I showed him my truck. We had a great fucking time. I thought you guys had a great time. I thought it was a great interview. I think it is... I, I knowing both of you, you were not not you, and he was not not him. People like to take a little fucking thing and then gas it up and make it something else, and then it becomes like you know that's all they're doing. That's like, all. What, yeah. What's funny is the average douchebag on these fucking social media is no different than these giant corporate news agencies where they're just they're just taking shit out of context to cause you to cause something that didn't even happen, so you'll stop and watch it. So they can make money off of views. Yeah. And, and people on the Internet do the exact same thing. They know exactly where to cut it, where to begin it and where to end it to make it to take it from a, a level two yeah. up to fucking 12. I watched you and Theo's whole interview. Didn't find anything wrong with it, including what, what people will say is how it ended, which is you going, I have to go. I have to leave now. Yeah, my kid, my kid was yeah. getting up. It had yeah. nothing to do with him. And, and, but when the, and then I watched the... Uh, uh, you you got to see this interview with Bill and Theo, and they chop it up to make it look like you don't like him, you don't get him. And do they do that with Rogan, where they'll they'll do like his reaction, that guy read, and they, and they can they totally make a completely different interview that didn't even happen. Oh yeah, don't you don't have to tell me about that. I'm yeah, fucking so with all my interviews. Yeah, so why why would you watch that? Sh I don't I don't watch. I watch it. I watch it, but I don't know. You, but that doesn't. You know, fuck you, Bert. <laughs> <laughs> They're gonna cut this up now. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny because like even. I I have to admit, like I I've discovered a couple of comics that I love that are that could be, you know, Republicans or whatnot, right? They're not out, but I you hear rumors. 
And my initial response is, what, what oh. is wrong with that? I know, I know. I'm just, there's nothing wrong with that. Just they're not out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they're not out as Republicans. No, you know, they did. They keep their stuff private is what I meant. Yeah, because liberals are out of their fucking I, I understand that. I understand that. Yeah, but just, good Lord. Listen to my fucking point, though. Okay. Let me finish my point, okay? My initial reaction is like, uh, right? But it's like, no, it's, I'm just going to make up a name. It's Joey. He's a good guy. You know what I mean? It's like, you know, it's like, it has nothing to do with we're in it. Just listen, Bill. Right? Oh, I just we're in a volatile like. I just you, love how judgmental the left is. You don't know anything about. Oh, he's a good guy. He's he is still. Just, <laughs> he's a I understand. <laughs> For you to get in the comedy store back in the days. Well, Mitzi didn't pass me. I remember that. And she. So I just, and, everybody and she has a fucking bad story about it. She, Give me yours. Well, she didn't even wait to the end of my set. Like I was, I was still up there. This and, Paulie's mom? Yeah, and evidently, like, halfway through my set, she was just like, he's not ready. Wow. And just fucking She's walked out. She's cold-blooded, man. Yeah, and I took it personal. <laughs> I was like, man, fuck her. Fuck this fucking club. Fuck L.A. I was like, I was like everything west of the Mississippi. Fuck them. They're not funny. Hey, dude, it's, it's like messing with my whole... I had this big discussion with my wife last night talking about the irresponsibility of religion with, with a higher power. Where go they on. go like, oh, people have freedom of choice. So it's just like, so when a serial killer is born, that's not on God at all. Like, whoa, leaned a little too far this way. On that. <laughs> like, that's not on him at all. He gets to walk away from all of that. And if you watch like all of these nature videos and just how the whole thing is set up that, you know, the big eat the little. And, and how there's certain animals that their only way of survival, like rabbits, no fucking defense whatsoever. <laughs> their only defense that they get is that they can fuck so much and have so many of them that you can't wipe them out. But the second you're a rabbit, you know, I'm going to get killed by a snake, eaten by a coyote, ripped apart by wild dogs. That is their fucking existence. And they don't hurt anybody. Their sex must be so frantic and anxious and fueled by, I'm finished, the snake's going to come any moment. I know, I've got looking over your shoulder what, as you Jesus. bend. <laughs> Fucking walked into the singles bar. What did women always say? What do you do? They're not making small talk. Okay? Women all fucking judge, okay, their status. And then they get a number in their head. All right? And then they find out the jobs. Okay, that earn this and earn that, and then they figure like who they can fuck. Okay, and then it becomes a thing of like, okay, you're underneath what I want for the lifestyle that I'm looking for in the future. But you're a good looking enough guy that I'll fucking bang it tonight. Maybe I'll have a little fling with you. But that's good. at the end of the fucking day. You know, when you slid that piece of paper across the table and you made your offer, say my dick and balls bring home this each year. They're like, yeah, keep it moving. Keep it moving. That's that's 10 grand less than I want, and you got that one snaggle tooth. Fuck off. Move on. Who's next? Go ahead. Put your junk on the table. What's your number? 